Today I will be showing you how to lay out a T. This T is a three inch on to a four inch diameter. I'll be using the parallel line method. First, let's get started by drawing the front elevation. Now I will draw the end view or the side view. I will set up a two inch radius and I will draw a four inch circle. This represents the main pipe. On top of the main pipe, we have a three inch T intersecting the main pipe. So I'm now adding my three inches. This is the side view of the T. Now, using an inch and a half radius, I'm going to draw both profiles on top. A profile is simply a view, a half view of a plan view. It indicates the shape of the fitting if I'm looking down into it. Now with the same inch and a half radius, divide the profile into six equal spaces. So now I'm drawing the, what we call are the measurement lines or the element lines. And as you can see, they come from the profile. Here you can see I'm extending them down a little further than it looks like it needs to, but this is because I need to draw a miter line a little later on. Now let's go ahead and give these points numbers. I will number them one to seven. And I must add the same numbers corresponding to both views. Now developing or drawing the miter line where both pipes intersect, I must come from the side view. Here you can see I'm projecting number two and number six, number three and number five. And the last one will be number four. I can now draw my miter line or the intersection line. Now 
Now I will begin working on the T. First of all, I need to calculate the stretch out. And in this case, the circumference is 9 and 7 sixteenths. Now I'm drawing a stretch out line or a baseline. As you can see, it's 9 and 7 sixteenths stretch out. And now I need to divide this into 12 equal spaces. There are many ways of doing this. I've just chosen the slant rule method. What you need to do is find a measurement on a slant that divides well into 12. So all these lines I'm putting in there at the moment are my element lines from the T. Now I must choose my seam location. And you can see seam is number one. So I started the pattern with number one and I will finish at number one because when we roll this T 360 degrees, one and one will come together. There are two ways of transferring element lines. I can either use a compass and pick off my distances on the T from the side view. This is five and three. So where you see five and three on your baseline Scribe an arc. And this is how you physically do it with your dividers. If I was developing the T only, I would only need to draw the side view if the T is 90 degrees to the main pipe. The other method of transferring your element lines are to just simply project them. In a drafting lab, this is simple, but in a sheet metal shop, not as much. is one and seven. We have now developed the T pattern. Now let's go ahead and lay out the main pipe with the hole required to match the T. Again, I will need to calculate the circumference of the main pipe, and in this case, it's a four inch pipe, which is nine, 12 and nine sixteenths. This will be a rectangular piece of metal. So I need the circumference, and then I'm gonna need the length.
the length of this main T, main pipe, is going to be seven inches long. Again, this video is for instructional purposes. If we were on a job site, the T would be enough and we would trace it on to the pipe. But for educational purposes, we can appreciate how this was developed. So now, Bisect the circumference and mark it your center line. This center line is also number one in seven. Now with your compass set from seven to six on the arc of the side view circular pipe, strike an arc on both sides of your center line. And number this two and six. Now let's find from two six to three five. Again, on the arc of your side view circle. With the needle on two six, strike an arc towards three five. Now lastly, three, five to four. Now let's go ahead and draw vertical lines throughout that piece. Now we're going to bring, begin the process of drawing the circle inside that main pipe. Set your compass from the side of the front view. Make sure you're on the side and follow your projection lines. This was number seven. This is number one. Again, pay attention to where the needle is. on the next projection line down and I am finding number two. Now I'm finding number three. Go do four. And 
This will be number five. And keep paying attention to where the needle from the compass is on the side of your front view. Scratch number five. And all I'm left now is with number six. Here I'll just try and show you what the numbers are or how they correspond to the drawings. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and sketch the hole. And once that's done, you would decide on what seams or connectors you want to add to all of this. And she's done.